guys, it's Apps on Fire here with another video. But yeah, this is gonna be my second part of the Evernote series, which is the Evernote Web Overview. And if you haven't seen the first video, well, I'll have an uh, annotation up so that you guys can click on that and go to the Evernote Windows Edition. But if you already saw that, well, congratulations because you made it to the second video. So it is the Evernote Web Overview. And uh, yes, guys, my face isn't up on the screen anymore because I'm using a different video recorder and I guess it doesn't support that or I can't find it right now at the moment. But it currently doesn't support it. And, um, well, I guess it doesn't really matter because I'm pretty sure most of you don't really care about um, my face being on the video since you just guys want to see the video. But, yeah, that's the reason why it's not on there because this, um, this video recorder has no watermark at the bottom and um, it's better quality. So, let's get started with the Evernote Web Overview. So, the, the Evernote uh, Web Overview. The Evernote Web Edition is um, basically the same as the Evernote Windows um, version, but there's a little bit less options, and um, yeah, it's a little bit less options and a little bit less like features and stuff. But you know, it's good. It's good enough to um, get you by and you know do some note taking and stuff. But yeah, all you have to do to uh, get in is to, oh wait, let me log out, all you have to do to get in is to go to evernote.com and then just sign in. So you could pretty much um, go, wait, let me go to evernote.com, you could pretty much access this anywhere you are in the whole world, like no matter what computer you have, you'll be able to access um, your Evernote notes as long as you have internet access. So that is great because um, it truly mean it like it truly is that you can um uh have Evernote everywhere. So like I usually use Evernote Web when I'm at school because um you can't download anything you can't download anything at um the school computers obviously but yeah so I just go on the Google Chrome on there, um put in Evernote.com and then click login and I'm brought to this page right here and then all you have to do is just put your email and password and you should be taken to all your notes and you're good to go so you could have all your notes that you have and have it on any computer so that fixes any problems that you have with like <clears throat> not having the Evernote Windows Edition so yeah so when you're uh, in Evernote web it has a little bit less features. I mean, it's not it's not like too bad to the point where you can't use it, but you can't if you're really needing to make tables and stuff. Well, it's not it's not on here. Um, so yeah, if you can't make tables, you can't make uh, bullet points, you can't make um, numbered lists. So you have to do that manually. But if you have already set a note to be um, numbered or bulleted, then it will. Um, then it will automatically do it for you. Like this is a checklist. Oh wait, no, it doesn't automatically do checklists. Never mind, forget about that. But bullets and um, bullet points and numbered lists, they'll automatically do it for you. It was originally um, bulleted or numbered, but you can't create a bulleted or numbered note. So like this, um, see, it's already um, it already does the bulleted thing for you, but you can't create a bulleted note. That's a problem. So yeah, it's um it's okay. I mean, like I could get by just by um using Evernote web because I don't really use bullets and lists and number lists that much, only for like s certain kind of notes. But so yeah, it's basically everything you need on um Evernote on the web. So on the left-hand side, it's um your um usual notebooks and on the middle is the usual um all the notes in the current notebook that you're in right now and then on the right it's um the note the the note that's um right here so it's pretty much the basic layout just like Evernote web that just like Evernote Windows edition sorry and yeah you have all your options up here and you could tag it you could share it over here you could um 
delete it, you know, all your basic font and fonts and stuff, and you can set reminders. And for the photos on here, so if you're like looking at a photo, you there's a feature where you can look at um, your image gallery. So it has your um, images load up in another window. So yeah, everything's here, guys. I mean, you should be fine if you're just doing some basic uh, note taking and stuff, because it really helps me out at school. Because when I'm at school, like it does, I can't access the Evernote um, Windows edition. I can't download anything, so the Evernote web really helps me out. So see the photo opens up in the, another window. So yeah, guys, it really does help you me out with um, everything because I could access it at school. So yeah, that's it for the overview of the Evernote web and uh, stay tuned for my next video which is going to be the Android slash iOS app review. And uh, thanks for watching once again. This is another Apps on Fire video. Peace.